I just got a brand new, quite weird pen. No, it's an otoscope, a device with which you can take photos and record videos of your inner ears. This is a device that fits quite well into the whole digital health evolution. Just think about skin checking apps, remote care applications, health sensors, AI chatbots, portable diagnostic devices. What these technologies do is that they provide data that patients already had, but had no interfaces to access them. Plus, such devices can also enhance the remote care capabilities because this way patients can record videos or take photos of their inner ears if they live in rural regions and send those for a medical opinion, for a medical checkup. And vice versa, a physician can use these tools to ask for a second opinion to discuss the case with a colleague. These technologies play an important role in the shift, in the paradigm shift we call patients becoming the point of care. Wherever they are, they will receive diagnosis, monitoring and treatment. Such technologies contribute to that. And that's why I was happy to get a new otoscope, because the previous ones I've tested either required a jack plug, and smartphones don't have jack plugs anymore, or quite long cables. And this is just not comfortable to use, especially in a medical setting. This device, called B-Bird Note 5 Pro, is an otoscope I received from the company, and as usual, we never accept sponsorships or payments for these reviews, I need a device from them to test, but then we will write down, I will share with you whatever I, whatever we at the Medical Futurist think about this technology. So this is an otoscope that I thought would be working without cables, so through Bluetooth. But as it turns out, to provide and stream HD quality videos through Bluetooth is not really a convenient way. That's why even GoPro cameras have their own Wi-Fi. So that's the same with this device, this pen. It has its own Wi-Fi, so the smartphone in the smartphone app, we have to be able to connect to the device's Wi-Fi to be able to use it. It's not really comfortable uh, for those that are not used to using a Wi-Fi based method. I'm more a Bluetooth guy, but the smartphone app of the company has many videos and tutorials and guidelines and guides about doing that efficiently. And after that, you can just connect to the device and start using it. It's very easy to use. It uh, provides an HD quality stream and there is a shadowless LED light that makes sure that you can take good quality photos with enough light and record the right quality videos for medical opinions. There are some notable features like having this silicone ear spoon head for safety and having temperature regulation, even with the very strong LED light, it makes sure that your inner ears won't get hurt. There's quite a range of different shapes and sizes for the ear spoon head, whether for kids or for adults. Plus you can adjust almost all the settings and features through the app. And just one more thing, obviously all the photos and videos you take, all these are stored uh, through your smartphone app and you can share those with your colleagues, with your family members quite easily. In conclusion, I didn't really like the Wi-Fi connection part, but I understand that technically it needs to use Wi-Fi connection instead of Bluetooth to stream such HD quality videos. But after that, recording the videos and taking the photos, everything, the whole process is smooth, everything is stored on the phone, and it's easy to share those with the third party. All in all, it fits well into the digital health revolution, helping make patients the point of care. And I hope that many otolaryngologists or ear, nose, throat specialists we we'll review the same device so then we could hear their professional opinion about how they could use such a device in practice. And now, even if it's disgusting for many, let's see if I can use this for ear wax removal. Actually, I can. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.